Good morning everyone and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Monday morning today is another working day for me. I have just gone and got myself a coffee. Actually, I got myself a toffee nut, nut crunch latte. So in the Starbucks here, they have like a Christmas menu and this is on the Christmas menu. I'm not sure if this is like a thing that's around the world. If it is, if you have toffee nut crunch latte at your local Starbucks, let me know in the comment below. I'd be interested to know. Um, but yeah, Monday morning, it's a pretty, like strange quiet-ish day so this morning my children have a singing rehearsal but the year six teachers are bopping around to support um then i have a lesson then i have another free period where we normally have a meeting and then another free period and then another lesson after that but the two lessons i have got the children are finishing off work from the term so um they've got a fancy map and a fancy story that they need to finish so i'm going to give them some time today to finish all of that um and that's kind of what the rest of the day and the rest of the week is like just finishing off stuff we have a christmas fair on wednesday so they have to do christmas fair stuff as well to get that all ready and prepared um but yeah i think should be quite a nice chilled out week but my job for this week and my aim if i have time is i'm going to get all of my student books out so all of my maths and literacy science topic art books and just do one big thorough mark through them so each week and each day for maths and literacy i mark their books but over the last kind of few weeks we've had assessments they've done bits and bobs in their books but not loads um, and there are the odd day that stuff can get missed. So I'm just gonna go through it, make sure I'm up to date with everything, make sure that they've like done their feedback. So we do like next steps at our school, so make sure they've done those um, and just give the books a good style of marking and to check before the holidays. So they don't have to come back in January and be like, ah, but yeah, so that's my plan for today. Hi guys, so it's like three o'clock. Didn't manage to vlog at all today. Uh, that is the curse of having a classroom that's like a goldfish bowl surrounded by windows. But yeah, I've had a really nice but busy day today. Um, I had a rehearsal this morning. My children were uh, doing a Christmas concert on Wednesday, so they were rehearsing this morning. Um, so I keep looking at this way, like I said, goldfish bowl. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so we had a rehearsal this morning and then I came back to class and I had a bit of time to get on with some work and I actually decided to plan some of the maths work after the holidays, after Christmas. Me and one of my colleagues, it's our turn to plan maths. So I'm going to be um, so just planning one of the like the week's worth of stuff for maths so that I don't have to do it when I come back. Um, so I did that today. I didn't get any of my books marked. Like, like you know, earlier I was thinking about doing a deep mark. I didn't get any of that done, annoyingly. Um, but yeah, so we did that. Then we had two hours of like Christmas fair stuff. I will show you some of their stuff in a minute because actually to be fair, it's pretty cute. It is pretty good. I was impressed with them. Um, but yeah, and now now it's three o'clock. I've managed to just finish off uh, the lesson plan for when we get back for maths. Um, I'm just going to finish, like do a few bits and bobs of the PowerPoint. Um, and then at 20 past three, I have a reindeer rehearsal. So me and some colleagues are doing a reindeer dance in the year three and four concert. And then after that, I have a tambourine band practice because me and a lot of the other members of staff are doing a tambourine band performance in the year five and six concert as well. So busy day ahead, busy Wednesday, like looking forward to that. Tomorrow, day off, Lo loving the fact that we have a random day off on a Tuesday on the last week of term. How nice is that? So tomorrow's a day off. Um, so not particularly stressing too much. It's been quite a chilled out day. Um, but yeah, all the um, sneaker Santa gifts are in as well. I've got a few things under the tree under the tree there for me. Actually, one of my children has said to me, Miss Katie, you need to open this gift now because it's going to melt otherwise. And I opened it and actually I'll show you what it is. But I don't, I don't know why she thought it was going to melt, but it's hand cream and I, it's really nice. It's like a, I don't know how to say this, hang on. I'm just going to, I was actually balancing you on it. It's one of these, it's this, um, and it has these little um, hand creams in them. So there's like a honey harvest, a festive garden, and a, a pute sheshe for dry hands. Um, and they're all kind of like festive ones, so that should be nice. Um, I actually really love hand cream. and here it's humid all the time but because it's getting a bit colder i actually feel like i need hand cream i also need something for my lips because i feel like they're getting really dry and chapped annoyingly um but yeah so that was a nice gift i opened that thinking it was chocolates 
and there was that but it's nice to have a little free gift before we open our gifts on Thursday so my children all got each other like a secret Santa and on Thursday we're having like a little um, school like we're having like a little class party and they're all bringing snacks and they open each other's gifts so that should be lovely looking forward to that um, but yeah that's kind of my day so far I will show you a few of the bits and bobs around my classroom and then I will probably see you a little bit later when I'm home <laughs> So these are the Christmas gifts that my children have got each other. I have 22 children in my class, so they've all got each other, a little gift each. I'm um, doing the Secret Santa, so that's nice. And I've got a few gifts under the tree for me, which I'm looking forward to. These are some fantasy maps. We have been drawing fantasy maps. I have mentioned it before. Um, but these are just some of the maps that they've been doing for their fantasy stories. And then for the Christmas fair, they all have to run activities. This group are doing, like, uh, choose the right box that the elf is in so the elf goes in one of these and then the, the person has to like pick the right box or whatever and they get a prize if they get it right these boxes over here are used for like i think they called it D and D, and like basically it's a lucky dip and you pick out a piece of paper and depending on what you get you either get a drink or a dessert so they're making these like juice drinks but then they're also making these little desserts that they're bringing in for home so that should be nice i have lots of posters around like this they were all hand making their posters this year we said that they couldn't um print off like make their posters online and then print load them off because we're trying to be a bit more eco-friendly hi guys so i am just on my way home i just realized that i haven't put any makeup on this morning and my eyes look so dark <laughs> anyway, right um I'm heading home now and it is like 20 past four, had a bit of a later day today. Normally, I say that, like most people who are teachers in the UK are probably like, half four? What do you mean that's a later day? Um, I appreciate that half four is not a late day normally, but normally at my school, I tend to leave at like between half three and half four. Um, but yeah, more kind of around the four-ish area. Uh, that is the beauty of finishing teaching at half two. Um, but yeah, today I had a rehearsal for my reindeer dance and then a rehearsal for the Christmas concert um, for our tambourine band. And then I went and um, had a, some of the girls were rehearsing for their dance performance. So I popped in to see them and saw how they were getting on, um, chatted to a parent and then yeah, heading home now. So it's been a bit of a busy day. Oh, if you keep going forward, it's quicker. Forward. Yeah, if you keep going this way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in a grab on the way home. <laughs> um, but yes, so busy day, but I'm gonna pop to 7-Eleven and I'm gonna get myself a, they have this like Coca-Cola here, which is like a raspberry flavored Coca-Cola and it tastes really good and I had like a random craving for it today. So I'm gonna go and get myself one of those and then when I get home, I think we're just gonna try and do some work, get some bits and bobs done. Um, yeah, I need to finish off a post, like a blog post that I was doing. It's like a sponsor post that's come in, so that needs to be done today. I need to edit my vlog from us from yesterday. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for this evening and try and get as much done for like blog work as I can just because when I'm like away traveling, I don't want there to be loads of work to do. Also, our clothes are being picked up today. So we use an app called Do For You, which is like a clothing app, which they you can like schedule a time for them to come and they will come and pick up all your clothes, wash them and then drop them off 24 hours later. Um, which I know sounds really lazy, but it like, we get all of our, clothes washed and it costs us between like 12 13 quid up to sometimes 20 depending on how much we're getting washed um but it's great as well because they bring all the clothes lovely ooh, flat packed and are like um folded up nice, nice like folded up neat and tidily so i'm literally intending to get all of our stuff washed and then throw them into suitcases ready for our trip on friday <laughs> that's my plan um so yeah that's my that's what's happening this evening and I was going to maybe make him pasta this evening, but I think I might have, I might have a takeaway. Because, why not, you know? We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I shall see you in a bit.